I want to talk to you about this because this has been a little bit of a topic. It's probably just a topic in the vegan movement, not much. But what do you think about supporting these mainstream companies that put on a vegan option? Uh, you know, and people go, well, you can't support companies that are non-vegan. Um, but they put on like a, you know, let's just say KFC, Subway, you know, McDonald's, uh, Tesco, they're putting on out of vegan range. Uh, are you someone who would say, you know, hell yeah? Or are you someone who would say, no, uh, only support 100% uh, ethical businesses? What's your view? I can't think of a better thing for the animal rights movement to yeah. be honest, bro. Um, I think one of the biggest issues with people going vegan is also the convenience factor. Yeah. It's too hard. What am I going to do? This is where I eat. I go to this supermarket. I go to this restaurant. I get this fast food. I'm like, they don't have vegan stuff there. What am I? I, don't, I can't do that. Yeah. At my job, there's no vegan places around. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna, how am I going to be vegan? To be able to have these options at these such popular restaurants. So it's been really interesting, actually. Tim Hortons, they have, I think, over 7,000 locations mm -hmm. in Canada. They put the Beyond Burger in all of their stores and they advertised it every store I drive past. Huge billboards on the highway. I'm like, oh, plant based meat options. This is amazing. Wow, they're really normalizing it. They're, the convenience factor is through the roof. Yeah. Incredible. I'm so Huge. happy. Absolutely. And, they, and they're selling out of it. Yeah. Um, so that's Tim Hortons. They did the same at A&W. They were selling out of the Beyond Burger. Yep. They just brought it into Subway, selling out. Just yep. absolutely dominating. There, yeah, there's so many, Starbucks bringing in vegan options um, and just so many different places bringing in vegan options. I never heard any negativity from, on my post at least, sharing this. And I share every single one of them yep. saying how amazing I think this is to have these vegan alternatives in these such mainstream places where people are gonna be like, heard about vegan stuff, or um, they, they go with their vegan friend, the vegan friend suggests, why don't you just try it, try this. People start seeing, oh, this is delicious, and I feel pretty good that it isn't actually an animal. I don't like causing animal cruelty. I heard these are healthier as well. They're better for the planet too. They have just as much protein. It's huge. It makes a lot of sense. It's huge. They it have is. millions of dollars in marketing. They have restaurants all over the world. They can reach the mainstream like no other. They're doing know? all the advertising for us, yeah. man. I'm like, thanks. Thanks for spreading the vegan message for us. I'm so stoked. The funny thing is, as soon as KFC did it, mm. everyone got so, not everyone, a group of people, um, a group of vegans were like, no, how can you promote this? Because James? KFC is very obviously selling tortured chicken pie. That's what right. their main right. thing. Right. But, but, but I don't think that KFC are an inherently... They're not morally distinct from Starbucks. Of course Who not. sell cows dairy all over the world. I don't, I don't think you so know? either. But, but, but I saw the same people who are emotionally against KFC would happily walk into Starbucks and get the oat, uh, get an oat latte. Yeah. And I'm like, wait a second, where are, you, where are you getting shopping from here? Yeah. What's this new attachment? You have to go shopping at, you know, 100% vegan businesses. This is not achievable and it's not practical and it's a big problem to mm. even promote that. And I'm not, you won't see me promoting that because no, I'm trying to reach the mainstream. I want to reach those low income families that are just eating meat. They never heard of vegan before and they got they walk into McDonald's and there's a McVegan there. Totally. And they can choose that over the slaughtered enslaved dairy cow's body that's minced up yeah. in the other burgers, you know? Absolutely, man. And I think that, you know, yes, KFC, they kill so many chick so many dead chickens. Uh, millions, tens of millions. It's not it's horrific. Yeah. But if any, anyone can change. Anyone. Yeah. Slaughterhouse workers change. We change. People change. Businesses change too. Yeah. And when they see a demand for ethical alternatives, yeah. for vegan alternatives, they put one there. They see how well it goes. They put another. They put another. It's not going to be long before it's VKFC. Yeah. Vegan Kentucky Fried whatever they want to call it. Vegan chicken. Kentucky Fried Corn. <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's yeah. going to be... And, and so that's what I want. I don't want to just boy. I don't think boycotting them is something that's going to work because too many people are not interested. They don't even want to go vegan and eat vegan alternatives, a lot of people. To ask them to boycott their favorite restaurant because they maybe have some unethical practices, it's just, it's not practical. It's not pragmatic. It's not going to happen. No. Um, I wish everyone would just totally boycott every food, fast food chain and only eat vegan restaurants, but that's just not reality. So let's work in what's reality. What are people going to do? 
They can choose the vegan option at these places. And that's what people will do. That's why it's selling out. And that's, yeah. and that's what's going to motivate them to, wow, I wasn't expecting that to do so well. Let's invest, let's invest some more money into creating more of these options. Whoa, they're selling out too. People want the option. It's it's almost like I was talking to Alex Hershaft and he's been a vegan for 40 years and in animal rights for, you know, a lifetime of well, longer than we've been here. Yeah. So, and he was saying like most people, they know that eating meat is cruel or factory mm. farming is cruel. You don't have to tell them anymore. Mm. They just need the convenient food choice. Absolutely. So what we need to do is change the food system from above so that there's choices available so people can, you know, it's convenient for people to choose, you know, like let's just look a fried um, corn, Kentucky fried corn burger right there. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to reach for anything. They don't have to go find a vegan restaurant somewhere. Yeah. It's right there. So it's on every corner. It's, yeah. On every corner. People will make the moral want, choice if it's dude, convenient. They want to. They want to. They're just like, oh, it's a bit harder yeah. at vegan places. We don't have many around. Oh, is that KFC? Well, that I can do. Yeah. Was oh, that Subway? I can do that too. These are the places that are in every food court, in every shopping center, on every corner. And it this helps. is the, before that wasn't a thing. I'd be like, where am I going to get vegan food? It, no uh, way. It wasn't in my consciousness before. I always thought it was impossible to get a vegan burger in McDonald's or KFC or Subway. I was just yeah. like, and it goes from being hard to find to being on every corner, um, every country on every earth, country. on earth. <laughs> Wow. And you know what? One of the biggest things what that about, will happen to this What do you movement. think about ex-vegans? You know, like, think of that. Think of people who go vegan and then they, they, they're struggling to, for because of convenience or it's, you know, the, the family issues where their family's going into a restaurant and, you know, there's no vegan options and, and that social pressure. Mm. But if there's vegan options in these restaurants and we're supporting them and promoting them and, you know, they're going to KFC, their friends have had a few beers that night, they're going to KFC, there's a vegan option for them. It's just, it's just helping people stay vegan as well. Of course it is, man. Yeah, so, social pressure is, a, you know, for, for certain personality types. Yeah. They want to, a lot of people would just want to fit in and just do what everyone else is doing and, don't don't want to be asked questions about their lifestyle and don't have the confidence to answer and that's a, that's a legitimate concern for people. Oh, I'm going to be different. And people are going to look at me different. And I'm not going to get invited to things and I'm, I'm not going to be able to go out to eat with my friends and my friends won't invite me because there's no vegan option there. Mm-hmm. It's like no, you don't have to worry about it. There's going to be a vegan option there now. You can eat with them. It's going to look the same. It's going to taste the same. In fact, it's probably going to motivate your friends to eat like you too. Yeah. Maybe out of respect. Maybe out of curiosity, maybe they'll taste and be like, that's actually delicious and they care about animals too. Maybe they would make changes for the same reasons you do. The convenience factor going through the roof is for sure. I mean, I- It's I, one of the biggest, so Do you feel that's man. one of the biggest convenience? 100%. If everybody, if everybody could just, if everybody could go out right now, go to do all the same shopping they could do, eat the exact same tasting food that they can, and it'd be vegan, of course they would do that. They'd be like, it would you'd have to be so illogical not to do that. Um, what what would they do it for? Because they want to contribute to animal cruelty. Because they want to destroy the planet. Because they want unhealthier food. We have the same food that tastes the same, that looks the same, in the exact same location as where you already eat, and it is better for all the reasons. You can live perfectly healthy on it, and it's just as convenient. You would have to. What kind of person wouldn't choose that? Yeah. It makes no sense. So it just comes down to, but there's there's certain other factors as well. So it comes down to educating people that, yes, this is a healthy choice, a healthier choice. It's better for you and your family. Mm-hmm. Make this choice when possible. And then it's like, it's always possible. You can do this anytime you go shopping now. It's become more convenient than ever. And not only is it more convenient than ever, but you can eat the same things you already eat. You like you like KFC? We got vegan yeah. KFC at KFC. Go enjoy. You, yeah. know, you don't have to be a healthy vegan if you don't want. We recommend eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. That's how you feel your best. If you don't want to do that, cool. Just stop killing animals in the process of you getting your calories. And you can easily do that by choosing the vegan alternatives. Yeah. And if I was to like, you can't support KFC, you must only... I just think like, we, we don't... We, we're not in a position to have that flexibility to go... You can only buy vegan food from here. We need people buying vegan food from wherever it's available. We, you know, the world's like, oh God, we need radical change. We need radical Desperately. change. We need people working from below. We need direct action from above. Totally. We need corporations putting mm. on vegan options. We need everything working yes. together. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is like anti-vegan product activism. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that either. I no. I'm not doing any of that either. <laughs> so, uh, and look, like, 
yeah, everyone's got their heart in the right place. Of course. You know, we all are just, we all want the same thing. Vegan world as soon as possible. Yeah. Some of us have different ideas on how to get there. And that's fine. It's, you know, it's no hate on anybody with that opinion or anything. No. But um, me personally, I don't think that's a logical or consistent opinion. Um, and yeah, I definitely, I definitely support vegan options being everywhere. It almost feels counterintuitive though, doesn't it? Because like you have the, like everyone's got this emotional attachment to a place like McDonald's. Like I used to, I hate McDonald's. Sure, sure. McDonald's have their own slaughterhouses, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. But it's, it's, it's more of an emotional reaction. It's not a logical one. It's not up here like, okay, is this going to be good to have a different option for cows? Do cows want a vegan burger at McDonald's? I think they might. Like, I don't yeah, know. If I was a cow, I'd want a, a vegan burger in McDonald's, yeah. not a Joey burger. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, bro, I completely agree. That's a great perspective to look at it from.